and the songwriter said, down at the cross, down at the cross, where my Savior, he hung there, he bled, he died for you and I, church. He died that we might have life And that we might have it more abundantly. Truly, God is good, church. God is great and greatly to be praised. that is mighty hath done to me great things and holy is God's name down at the cross thank God for those those spirituals how many of y'all love spirituals how many of y'all love what they call black and it's called some people call it negro spirituals those kind that uplift the soul I was looking at something online today. I'm going to give you a little bit of history lesson. And I'm going to show you something at the end. A little bit of history. How many of you all <clears throat> knew that many of the black spirituals came from slaves? They came from slaves. Well, if you ever stopped and noticed, and you may not notice this unless you are a musician, and I'm not much of a musician, but many of those musicals, those spirituals that those slaves wrote, they were only on one of those keys on the piano. Did you know that? It was on the black keys on the piano. I'm going to show you something. If I ask Brother Howard to go over there and just hit a small note of uh, swing low and play it on only the black keys. Swing low. Sweet chariot. Black keys only. Now watch this. That's black keys only. Watch this. Sing every time I feel the spirit. Let me do it for you. I'm not a much of a musician, but I know a key or two. I want to show you all something. black keys that I was playing. Every time I feel the spirit moving. Black keys only. Now there's some, that's what they call black spirituals. I'm going to show you all something. Follow me. There's such thing as white spirituals too. And there's one white spiritual that's far more famous than any other spiritual. And it's only on black keys. And I'm going to show you all something. Hit it, Brother Howard. Which song is that, church? Amazing Grace. Now, how many of you all know who wrote Amazing Grace. It was a guy named John Newton. See, knowledge is power, church. I'm going to show you something. A guy named John Newton. And John Newton 
wrote this song. Okay, follow me now. John Newton, before he gave his life to Christ, he was a minister. John Newton was a minister. And before he became a minister, he was a captain of a slave ship. And some believe that he heard these black people, the music, the melody, coming up the ship. And they said before he died, he was an advocate against stopping slavery. Stopping slavery. And church, we're in the 10 days of fasting and prayer. And when you are in sin, you're in bondage. You are in bondage, church. But God came that you might have life. He came to set the captive free. And this person, I was listening to this person, and he said there was a reason why God had that song the way that he did. He had the melody of a black person and the words from a white person to show that we're all connected through God's amazing grace. Listen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was. Listen, church, listen. When we've been here 10,000 years, bright shining as the was blind but now I Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, as we so humbly approach your holy throne of grace, O oh God, Father, thanking you and praising you for all that you have done, for all that you are doing, O oh God, and for all that you have plans to do. Father, you are the great I am, and beside thee there is none other. We thank you, O oh God, and we praise you, O oh God. We thank you for thinking so much of us that you allowed us to see this day.
Father, we thank you, O oh God, for the petitions that are set at your feet, O oh God. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you might answer each and every one, O oh God. Father, according to the individual's faith, as well as their works, O oh God, but it, according to the individual's faith, O oh God. Father, we pray that you might increase our faith in thee, O oh God. Father, that we might know that you have the power to do all things but fail. Father, we pray that you might remember your word as it goes forth, O oh God, that it might go from breast to breast, that it might go from heart to heart that it might go from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast, O oh God, to the end that you might be the one that gets all of the glory, that you might be the one that gets all of the honor, and that you might be the one that gets all of the praise in our lives. Father, this is our desire, this is our prayer at this hour, and we will be very careful not to forget to give thy name and praise. Let the church say together, amen. 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 We say unto you all good evening, and may God bless you all. Thank God truly for this is another day that God has so graciously allowed our eyes to see. Thank God truly for his love, his tender mercy, and his kindness. Truly, he that is mighty hath done to me great things, church. Great things. And holy is his name. Thank God truly for this, another anointing service and uh, the petitions that are laying at the feet of Jesus. Truly, God knows all things, and he's able to answer each and every one of those petitions. I believe, I believe, church, that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, and we thank God truly for that. Thank God truly for this series of 10 days of fasting and prayer. Thank God truly for the theme of the fast, ruling over your own spirit well. Got to rule over it well, church. Deacon, if you'd be so kind, congregation, Lord, led me to speak to your hearts today about petitions to God. Petitions to God. Petition is a solemn, earnest request. It is a solemn, yes. earnest yeah. request. Solemn is serious. That's right serious. It's a solemn, earnest request. Yes. Deacon, if you'd be so kind, congregation, turn to Proverbs, 25th chapter. Petition to God. It's a request to God. Amen. amen. Proverbs 25. If you have it, say amen. Amen. Proverbs 25th chapter, beginning right there at the 28th verse, says what? He that hath no rule over his own spirit uh -huh. is like a city that is broken down. Is like a city that is broken down and what? And without walls. You know, the one that has no rule over their spirit, when writing their petition, will only put down earthly things and nothing spiritual. All right, yeah. The one that does not rule their spirit well yeah. will only put down earthly things, physical things, and no spiritual things. All right. Thank God for that knowledge. I got that back when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I asked the Lord, I put down in my petition, came time to fill out the petitions. I put down my petition. I said, I think the only thing I had down on there, I said, Lord, I want me a dirt bike. <laughs> I want me a dirt bike. <laughs> so lo and behold, Christmas came, and the dirt bike wasn't just for me. I had to share it. I said, Lord, that's not what I asked for. <laughs> you sure did. I had to share it. I had to share it between yeah. four, total of three other brothers I had to share it with. Mm -hmm. St. Matthew 6, chapter church. <clears throat> All right. One that does not rule over their spirit well. 
only thinks earthly and physically and of the flesh and nothing of the spirit. St. Matthew's sixth chapter. If you have it, say amen. 33rd verse says what? But seek ye first the kingdom of God. But seek ye first the kingdom yes. of God. And what? And his righteousness. And his righteousness. And what? And all these things shall be added unto you. Make sure that God is first priority in your life, church. In everything that you do, make sure that God comes first. Amen? But seek ye first, what? But seek ye first the kingdom of God uh -huh. and his righteousness, uh -huh. and all these things shall be added unto you. By show of hands. How many of you all in here believe that God is able, if you seek him, that God is able to answer every single one every single of the petitions inside of that yes. folder? Yes. Every single one of them. Every one. Every single one of those petitions. Yes, he's able. Thank him for doing it already. God knows. Yeah. Sister, you looking for a husband? Brother, you looking for a job? God knows. All right. Amen. St. John, 14. Yeah, here it is. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and Damn. his, his right. righteousness. That's right. And all these other things, yeah. they'll be added. All of them. There it is. But he says, seek ye First, That's it. seek ye first yes. before you ask for anything else. Yes, give me a asking for up. money, asking for a job, asking for a spouse, mm -hmm. asking for transportation. Yes. The word of God said, seek ye first yes. the yes. kingdom of God. That's it. And his righteousness. Yes. And everything else. That's it. Yeah. Abundant. He'll add it. Yes. Abundant, too. He'll add it. How many of y'all believe that? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Amen. Yes. St. John 14, if you have it, say amen. Amen. First verse says what? Let not your heart be troubled. Uh-huh. You believe in God, mm -hmm. believe also in me. You see somebody else done receive their blessing and all of a sudden your heart is troubled. Mm. Well, Lord, you blessed Amen. Deacon Kirby. How come you ain't blessing me? All right. Yes. Let yes. not your heart be troubled, church. That's right. If you believe in God, yes. if you believe in God, that's it. Jesus said, believe also in me. Yes, tell it. And what? In my father's house, in my father's house, are many mansions. Uh huh. If it were not so, mm -hmm. I would have told you. Uh huh. I go to prepare a place for you. And, and if I go and prepare a place for you, mm -hmm. I will come again. Uh huh. And receive you unto myself. Mm -hmm. That where I am, uh huh. There ye may be also. How many of you all want to be where Christ is? Yes. Y'all want to be where Christ is? I yes. do. Amen. Well, you got to seek first the kingdom of God That's it. and his righteousness. Yeah. That's the only way. You got to seek ye first. Yeah. It didn't say just seek the kingdom of God. It said seek yeah. ye yeah. first. And, right and whither I go, ye know, and that and the way ye know. Fifth verse said what? Thomas saith unto him, Lord, uh -huh. mm -hmm. we know not whither thou goest, uh -huh. and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him what? I am the way, uh -huh. the truth. Uh -huh. And the life. And the life, no man no does man what? Cometh unto the Father, but by me. You're asking for a husband. A husband can't get you into heaven. That's right. You're asking for a job. A job can't get you into heaven. That's it. Tell it. 
you're asking for transportation. I don't care how expensive that transportation is, it can't go to That's heaven. That's right. That's right. Amen? Amen. Asking for a house. House ain't going to get you into heaven, church. That's right. It says, seek ye first, first yeah. the yeah. kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's right. Lord, I want to get back into school. I want to go to college, further my education. All right. Education, I'm going to tell you like the, past, the, the, the founder of the church said. He said, education is good, yeah. but don't turn loose God in order to get the education. That's right, that's right. Amen. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Education is good, yeah. but don't turn loose God that's right. in order to get the education. That's right, priority. Amen? Amen? Because promotion don't come from the east nor the west. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come That's from right. the south. That's right. But God's the one that yeah. sets up. He puts one down and he sets another up. That's right. It's him that does it. Amen. Amen. There's no greater knowledge than the knowledge that God gives. Amen. Yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. That new car church ain't going to get you to the Father. That's right. No man cometh to the Father, but by who? Me. But by who? Me. But by who? Me. But by me. Yeah. And said what? If you had known me. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also, and from henceforth, from this day forward, what? Ye know him. Ye know him, and what? And have seen him. And have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, what? Have I been so long time with you, and uh -huh. yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Uh huh. He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Mm -hmm. And how sayest thou, then, show us the Father? And what? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Believest Father in me? thou, Philip, not that I am in the Father, and the Father is inside of me? And what? The words that I speak unto you, uh -huh. I speak not of myself, mm -hmm. but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doth what? He doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and what? In the Father and me. Uh huh. Or else believe me for the very work's sake. One songwriter said, May the work I've done speak for me. Yeah. My wife was singing that the other day. We were coming down the road. Mm hmm. May the work I've done. Speak for me. All right. I don't know the next part. What's the next part, sister? <laughs> when? A little bit louder. I can. When I've done the best I can. Mm -hmm. May the work I've done speak for me. Yeah. Believe me for my every work, the very work's sake. Twelfth verse says what? Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, verily, I say unto you. He what? That, he that believeth on me. He that believeth, listen church, Whew. he that believeth on me. How many of you all believe on God? Yes. Yes. I see some hands still down. That's fine. Hmm. You got your right to your opinion. <laughs> Choice is yours. We ain't yeah. holding no gun to your head. Yeah. God's going to fix you, though. Amen. Right. God's going to fix you. What does it say? Verily, verily, I say unto verily, you. Verily, verily, I say unto you. What? He that believeth on me. He that believeth on me. Now, everyone that raised their hand, what did Jesus say? The works that I do. The works that I have done. Yes. All of you all that raised your hand. Jesus said, the works that I have done. What did he say? Shall he do also. Shall you do also. Every single one of you yeah. all that raised your hand. Yeah. That said, I believe. I believe. Jesus yeah. said. Yeah. That the works that I have done. Yeah, what did he say? It. He shall do also. He shall do also, but not only just that. What mm -hmm. did he say? And greater works. Greater. Than these. Greater works than these. Greater works. That's right. Amen. If you just stop and think about it, Jesus did some did. mighty powerful. Yes, did. <laughs> Jesus did yeah. some mighty powerful things. Woo. 
And guess what he sure just did. did? He just handed that power mm. over to you, Deacon Isn't Kirby. That's it. He just said, here you go, Deacon Kirby. Ooh. If you believe in me, you're going to do the same work. What did Jesus do? Mm. He healed the sick. Yeah. He raised the dead. 5,000. Oh, that's right. And he said, you'll do the same thing in greater works. That's it. Tell it. That's, that's power. Yes, it is. That is power, church. Yes, it is. That's power. And what? Greater works and greater, greater works. works than these shall he do. Uh-huh. Because I go unto because my father. Because I go unto my father and whatsoever and whatsoever yeah. and whatsoever and whatsoever That's it. and whatsoever and whatsoever. Church. And whatsoever. Yeah. And whatsoever. What's it say, Deacon? And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. That's it. What did it say? That will I do. Christ said, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Whatever you ask me in my name, in my name, Christ yeah. said, I'm going to do it. And what? That the Father may be glorified in the Son. For one reason. So that the Father <laughs> might be glorified in the sun. And what did it say? If you shall ask anything uh -huh. in my name, uh -huh. I will do it. You see, church, a lot of times we ask for things, but it's not in his name. All right. We ask for things, but it's not in his name. Yes, tell it. St. John, 16th chapter. Mm-hmm. Petitions to God. Petition is a solemn, earnest request. A solemn, earnest request. St. John, 16th chapter. Mm -hmm. 23rd verse. Said what? And in that day you shall ask me nothing. And in that day ye shall ask me what? Nothing. You haven't asked me for anything. In that day ye shall ask me nothing. And what? Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, verily, I say unto you. What? Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my whatsoever name. Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name. That's it. That's it. He will do what? He will give it you. He'll give it to you. Whatsoever you ask the Father in, mm. my, in my name. name. That's it. He will give it to you. Thank you. Amen? Yes. yes, amen. And what? Hitherto have you asked me. Hitherto nothing. have you asked me what? Nothing. You haven't asked me anything. And what did it say? In my name. In my name. You have not asked anything in my name. You see, church, a petition is not a request to man. Petition is. That's a request it. to God. That's it. That's it. Hitherto, you've asked nothing in my name. All right. And what did it say? Ask. Ask. Can everybody say that? Ask. 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 That's it. That's all I got to do, ask. <laughs> yeah. Hitherto, have ye asked nothing in my name? Ask, and ye shall do what? Receive. Ye shall receive if you ask. That's it. Yes. In my name. That's it. That what? That your joy may be full. That your joy, church. Yes. If you would just ask in his name and believe in him. That's it. God yes. said, I'll give it to you. Yes. And your joy yes. Yes. will be full. Your joy will be what? What's it say? And your joy, that That's your, your joy, joy may be full. That yes. your joy, church, may be full. That's right. Last night I got finished studying. Somewhere around midnight, a little bit after midnight. And as I'm going upstairs to get into the bed, my foot started hurting. And this is a pain that I'd felt the past year or so, a couple of months to a year. My wife knows about it. Thank God for my wife. She massaged my feet a couple of times. It's just so painful. And I got into the bed, and I, before I got into the bed, I have a pillow down on the floor because I pray without ceasing. I pray all the time. 
And I got a pillow right down there next to my bed on the floor because I'm always kneeling down praying. In the morning, at nighttime, noonday hour, I'm down there praying. So before I got in the bed, I just stood on the pillow to try and give me some comfort. Foot was aching, foot was aching, and I felt this pain before. And previously, I, just recently, I went to the doctor, and the doctor says, wrong shoe size. You need to go get another shoe. Went to get another shoe. And as I got into bed last night, it kept hurting, so I massaged it. Didn't want to wake up my wife, so I massaged it on my own to try and get that pain out. Mm -hmm. Finally fell asleep. And God called me again, church. All right. Around 4, 4.15, same time as last time. Mm -hmm. God called me. He didn't call me on my cell phone, Pastor. All right. <laughs> How many of you all left your cell phone outside tonight? Raise your hand. Amen. Cell phones are not allowed in the church. Amen. Amen. We said Amen. that last night or two nights ago? Two nights ago. Cell phones are not to be in the church. Amen. If God ain't calling you, and it ain't God. You shouldn't be answering. Oh, Amen. You yeah. only two hours a day. That's less than 10% of yes, the day mm -hmm. that you're giving God. Amen. So okay. God called me at around 4 o'clock. Yeah. Woke sure. me up. Woke my wife up. I said, I think my sugar's going low again. She went downstairs. She checked it. And sure enough, it was low again. Mm -hmm. She said, what you going to do? Made my way over to the couch where my Bible was, she brought me the snack. And I said, Lord, I'm here. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. Turn to Second Chronicles, church. <clears throat> Second Chronicles, the 16th chapter. I opened up the Bible. The Bible was closed, completely closed. Mm -hmm. I opened it up. It landed on Second, Second Chronicles, 16th chapter. And my eyes fell right on the what verse is that? Right on the 11th verse. Mm -hmm. And it said what, Deacon? And behold. And behold. What? The acts of Asa. The acts of Asa. What? First and last. First and last. What? Lo. Lo. They are written in the They're book. They're written in the book of what? The kings of Judah and Israel. And by this time, I'm saying, Lord, you woke me up for a reason. It definitely can't be to tell me about a king and his acts. Scripture says, here the conclusion of the whole matter, church. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. Here the conclusion. So I kept yes. on going, and the next verse said what? And behold. And behold. What? The acts of Asa. The acts of Asa. What? First and last. First and last. Lo. Lo. They are written. They're written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. And what? And Asa in the 30. And, and Asa in the 30 mm -hmm. and ninth year. What happened? Was diseased in his feet. Was diseased church in his feet. He was diseased in his feet. And what happened? Until his disease was exceeding great. Until his disease just got too great church. Exceedingly, Exceedingly great. great. And what? Yet in his disease, he saw Yet not. Yet in his disease, in the time of his infirmities. Yes. In the time of his weakness. In the time of his pain, church. What happened? He sought not to the Lord. He never went to God. He never went to God. In the time of his infirmities, in his hardest times, he never sought God. But what did he do? But, but to 
the physicians. He went to the physicians. He never sought God. He went to the physicians. Yeah. And I immediately dropped down on my knees and I said, Lord, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you see, church, the fast isn't just for you all. It's for me, too. That's right. It's for yeah. the preachers, too. Yes. Yeah. In the time of his infirmities. What did it say? And Until his it? disease was exceeding great. Yes. Yet, in his disease, he sought what? Not to the Lord. He sought not the Lord. But instead, he went to the physicians. Yeah, yeah. You see, church, our petitions there to God. Yeah, yeah. Amen? Amen. The scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes, that's it. <clears throat> He's able. You cheat yourself out of a blessing, church, when you go to man before you go to God. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to repeat that very clearly. Yes, you cheat yourself out of a blessing when you go to man before God. Yeah, that's it. Man has no heaven or hell to put you in. That's man right. did not make this body. That's right, that's yeah. right. God is the creator yes. of this body. He made us from the dust yes. Yes. Give him of the earth. That's and right. he breathed the breath of life into man's nostrils. And man became a living soul. Yeah, that's it. We said it earlier. Make sure God is your first priority. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Asa Amen. did not go to God. He did not seek God. But instead, his problem with his feet, he went to man. Yeah. He sought the physicians. That physician church has no heaven or hell That's right. to put you in. That's right. Amen? Amen. That physician can't heal your body. Yes. He may yes. be able to give you something to pacify that's right. the pain, yes. that's to right. pacify it that's for it. a short period of time. There. But there's only one, I think the pastor, you hear the pastor say it all the time, any real doctor that's right. will tell you what? I can't <laughs> heal you. There's only one that can heal you. That's yes. God Almighty. That's it. Pray to him. Any real doctor will tell you that. That's right. Seek ye first. Seek first the kingdom. That's right. The kingdom of God. Yeah. I was humbled. I went straight down on my knees. I said, Lord, I'm sorry. Yeah. Lord, I'm sorry. That's right. Because I went to the physician. Elder Mark had that bookmark that was on the bus. He said, God still speaks, speaks. to those who listen. That's my right. wife will tell you. She saw me. After she checked my blood sugar, I went straight for the couch. Did I not, Sister Tulane? Picked up my Bible. Lord, I'm here. Talk to me. I'm your humble servant. And my eyes fell right on 2 Chronicles 16 and 12. God will speak to you, church. That's right. He sure will. He that hath an ear to hear, yeah. Yeah. let him hear what the Spirit saith yes. unto the church. Yes. Amen? Amen. James, fourth chapter. So church, make sure your petition is to God before it is to the physician or to man. That's petition right. is a request. It is a solemn and earnest request. Make sure, church, your petition is to God before it is to man. James 4th chapter. Mm -hmm. If you have it, say amen. Amen. James 4 and 1 says what? From whence come wars? 
For whence come wars and fightings among you, come they not hence even of your what? Lust. Even of your lust that war in your members. Ye lust and do what? And have not. And have not. You got this desire yeah. and you yeah. have not and what? You kill. You kill. And desire to have. And desire to have something. And what? And cannot obtain. You can't obtain it, church, because you're going about it the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You don't have it, church, because you're going about it the wrong way. All right. And what did it say? You fight and war. You fight and war. Yet what? Yet you have not. Yet you have not because what? You ask not. We had, you all know that. My wife and I, we always are hosting the game nights at our house. And some time ago, we had a whole lot of people over. And <clears throat> it's getting late at night, and the game that we were playing is almost like it's at a, a standstill because there's a chance for about five or six different people to win this game. So one of our family members, he had asked somebody, can I have your pieces so I'd be a winner? Person didn't give it to you. He pulled out a $20 bill. <laughs> Said, now will you give it to me? $20. <laughs> What's it say? <laughs> Ye lust, Ye lust and, and have, have not. not. Ye kill. So you're going about it the wrong way, church. Yeah, yeah. Money can't buy you nothing. That's it's right. That's right. Misery and sorrows. That's it. Pulled our money out of his pocket because he asked for something, but he couldn't get it. <laughs> he couldn't win. So he said, I'm going to take it to another level. Mm. Same thing goes here. When they lust after something and they can't get it, they take it to a different level. All right. Whew. And that's when they start killing. Mm. It said, ye lust and have not, ye kill. And desire to have. Hmm. And what? And cannot obtain. And cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and do what? Receive not. You ask and you receive not, because what? Because you ask amiss. Because you ask amiss. That what? That you may consume it upon your lust. You're asking for the wrong reason. That you may consume it where? Upon your lust. Church, when you ask God for something, make sure it's nothing you're lusting over. If it's something that you are lusting over, you don't have no business having it. All right. I'm going to repeat that. Make sure that in your petitions to God, yeah. if you are asking for something that you are lusting over, All right now. you don't have no business having it. Make it plain. Amen. Make it plain. Amen, church? Amen. Amen, church? I want to hear everybody say it. Amen, church? Amen. Thank you. James, first chapter. Should just be one page over. We almost finished. First chapter. We want the fifth verse. Fifth verse says what? If any of you lack wisdom. If any of you lack wisdom, what? Let them him ask of God. Let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and doth what? Upbraideth not. Upbraideth not and what? And it shall be given him. I lack wisdom. Yeah. That's I had that terrible foot pain and I went to the physician. All right. God said, I'll give you wisdom. Mm -hmm. You have not because you ask not. Yeah. That's but true. when you ask, what did it say in the sixth verse? But let him ask in faith. But let him ask in faith. That's the important key. Let him ask in faith. What? Nothing wavering. Not wavering. Amen. Not swaying to the side here yeah, or there. Yeah. I don't know. I think that song, I can't remember who sung it. If you pray, don't worry. And if you worry, don't pray. That's it. I'm going to repeat that. If you pray, don't worry. Yeah. And if you worry, don't pray. Yeah, that's Ask in faith, nothing wavering, and what? For he that wavereth. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea 
doing what? Driven with the wind. Driven with the wind. And what? And tossed. And tossed. Driven with the wind and tossed. Hebrews, 11 chapter. Mm -hmm. Got to flip through this, bro. Got two more. 11th chapter, first verse. Should just be one page over. One or two pages over. Hebrews mm -hmm. 11. <clears throat> yeah. So to those who did not raise your hand earlier and don't believe, because you may feel as though it's just too great for God. It's out of his hands. All right. You got your reasons. I know what God is able to do. That's right. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, now what? Faith. Faith is the substance of things what? Hoped for. Hoped for. And the evidence of what? Things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. What? For by it. For by it. Listen to this, church. For by it, what? The elders obtain. The elders obtain a what kind of report? Good report. Let me show you something, church. Yeah. Pastor, how many different banks did we go to in trying to obtain this church? How many different banks did we go to prior to Chesapeake Bank? whole bunch. Brother Howard knows it. He was helping out. I was helping out. Was it a lot of churches, Brother Howard? You remember that? It was a lot of banks. A lot of banks. Mm -hmm. Had to been at least five to ten different banks we went to and they kept saying, we can't help you. We can't help you. We can't help you. Now just suppose at that last bank the pastor said, forget about it. Don't mm. worry about checking no more, Brother mm. Howard. Don't worry about checking no more. Minister mm. Dave, we just going to accept it as being God's will. Hmm. Wouldn't be here. But he kept saying, check another one. Go find another one. That's what he was saying. Check hmm. another one. Find another bank. He was out there checking too. Praise the Lord. Look for another bank. Just think about it, church. If he had wavered in his faith, guess what? We would probably still be in a hotel basement. That's right. That's where we came That's right. from. That's right. If he would have wavered in his faith, we yeah. probably would yeah. still be in a hotel basement. Yeah, we. Proverbs 13 and 12. Just suppose, church. That that last bank, right before God was about to bless us with the church, mm, pastor work. says, don't worry about it anymore. Don't worry about checking no more banks. We're just going to stay in the basement. That's right. Mm. For God. by it, the elders obtained a what kind of report, church? Good report. A good report because they held on to their faith. Yeah, strong faith. Amen? Amen. Proverbs 13, 12, say what? Hope deferred. Hope deferred, church. Hope deferred does what? Maketh the heart sick. It maketh the heart sick. Yeah. I'm just hoping for it. I'm just hoping for it. I'm praying for it. I'm praying mm. for it. Mm. When is it going to come? When is it going to come? Yeah. Hope deferred yeah. maketh the heart sick. But what? But when the desire comes. But when comes, God blesses you yes. with what you've put down on the petition, church, those yeah. ones who have raised their hand, yeah. God says, I know what you want. Yeah. Yes. I know yeah. exactly what you want. I know what you need. Yes. Hope deferred, church, maketh the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it says what? It is a tree of life. It's as a tree of life. Let me Ooh. tell you, church. Yes. I was there when we signed the papers for this church. And boy, it felt so good. Knowing all the other banks that turned us down and the pastors said, keep on checking. Mm. It felt good yes. to go in yes. there and sign those papers and say, this is ours. Yes. This belongs yes. to the people of God. Praise it God. felt good. Hope deferred. I was a part of the process going to this bank and they're saying no. Going to that bank and they're saying no. Yes. All these people saying no. Yeah, but God. But, God. but when that desire cometh, church, yes. Testify. when God blesses you with what you want, Sister Marsha used to say, I'm going to run around the church. <laughs> yes. When that desire cometh, it's as a tree of life. 
Yes. St. John 525. Preaching. Petition to God, holding fast to your faith. Nothing wavering, church. Hope deferred, it makes your heart sick when you're not getting what you want. But God's time is the perfect time, church. I'm going to say that one more time. God's time. Yes, yes. Is the perfect time. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. He may not come when you want him to, church. That's right. Keep pressing. He may not come when you want him to. Yeah. But God is always. 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 God is always yes, right on time. Amen. St. John 525 says what? Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, verily, church, I say unto you what? The hour is coming. The hour is coming. The yes. hour is coming. Coming and yes. what? And now is and now is that our church. Yes. That what? When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. The dead. Yeah. The dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And what? And they that hear. And they that hear shall what? Shall live. It said, Verily, verily, the hour is coming, and now is. Now, I didn't see some hands up earlier. I'm going to ask one more time. How many of you all believe that God is able to answer each and every one of these? And in addition to what you didn't put down on the paper, oh, yeah. how many of you all oh, believe yeah. that God is able to answer? Yes. I believe. Yeah. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is come and now is. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, they're going to be given another opportunity to say, Lord, I believe. I believe. I didn't raise my hand earlier, but Lord, I believe right now. That's it. And they that hear shall do what, Deacon? Shall, shall live. live. Thank you, Deacon. Thank you, congregation. Pray my strength and growth in the Lord that I might be nothing in myself, but just what God might have me to be. Turn the service back over to the deacons. <laughs>